Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as pressing that subscribe button, tapping the bell and making sure to select all to receive all of my future postings. In today's video, I will be sharing how wonderful it can be decorating vertically. When decorating, nothing is better than when my eyes are not only taken, taken horizontally, but vertically as well with many textures. This really gives way for myself, for all of us to display many of our favorite treasures. The goodness of imagination is everything. I hope this video lights the creative candle and you all. Also, make sure to tune in on Friday for my decorating marathon in the living room. That's right, a marathon. So this is going to be quite the lengthy video, but I figured since I was gone for a bit that a marathon was due, right? <laughs> right, okay. So this Friday, Look at, look out for the marathon to be posted. That being said, let's begin, shall we? We're gonna begin using this ornamental, very whimsy and curly, um, I believe they're called ornament trees. There might be another name for them, but I'm just gonna go with ornament tree. And this was purchased off of Facebook Marketplace, of course. It was, I actually purchased this when I was living in North Carolina. And it has been such an enjoyable piece to work with. It's just as simple as turning all these different pieces just fanning them out you basically can make them go whatever way you desire so I believe I have it just the way I want it and it, it might change a little bit as I start um, adding things in because they do like to move quite a bit. I love the whimsy curly property of this piece. So here is some greenery that I purchased from Michaels last year. And it's still there. When I was just there a couple days ago, I did see this greenery and it was 40% off. I do not know if they are still having that sell, but th this is wonderful greenery to work with. It's nice and full. And of course the greens are just gorgeous in this piece. Gonna zoom us in a little bit closer so because we're about to get kind of busy here so I'm just gonna take each floral piece and just weave it through these different metal arms you know to give it more of a, a natural feel we don't want everything just all bunched up. I'm going to add one over here to the right. And again, I'm just going to weave it through the different arms. And as you can see, 
the arms are already starting to move, which is perfectly fine. Just bend your branches. So I'm basically, what I'm doing here is making a topiary with these leaves on this ornament stand. So I have one left and right, and now I will be adding one up front. And as you can see, the stems at the bottom are showing, but no worries, we're gonna cover those up. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So this is actually my second time using this stand to make a topiary. It's just gonna be a little bit different this time. Now in my Amazon storefront, I do have um, under my decor some of the, and I will share a link, um, some of these ornamental trees. It's not exactly the same as this one, but it is pretty close. You know, it would be able to, um, it would work so that you could make one of these topiaries yourself. I'll make sure to sh share the link in my description box. So I'm just turning it around and making sure that I'm getting that good topiary shape. And you just weave branches through and fluff out. And here we almost have it. I have it up front and on the sides, but I believe, well, I know I am going to add a piece in the back. And look how those curly, wispy arms are just coming out through the leaves. That's such a great visual. And because you have so many of those metal arms um, down at the bottom, it really holds the large part of the floral leaves together. And I believe we have it. Now we are going to be transferring from this spot to a completely different area. Here we are in the sunroom. Now, I put this vignette together in a previous video, and I will be linking it at the end of this video, just in case you have not seen it yet. And I had a curly ivy plant up at top, and it just wasn't, it just wasn't doing it for me. So I decided to go ahead and remove it. But as you can see, all the ferns are doing just great at the bottom tier. So this is what I'm talking about decorating vertically. I love how it just pulls my eyes up. So I figured since I don't have much space horizontally, I do have quite a bit going up vertically. So here we go. <laughs> Placed it right on top of the top tier and I actually used some wire and wired it in to the part of the tray just so it wouldn't fall over. And now I'm gonna be using this garland. I actually shared this in a haul a few videos back and I also decorated with it going around my willow bunny. This is a fabulous garden garland. And if you have a chance to go into the garden section, the decor area and target, do. 
you will not be disappointed. Very, very real looking greenery. So I twisted it around down at the bottom part of the stand to help hide all of the branches from the greenery leaves that were placed inside the topiary. So I just kept going around it and then also had some cascade down. And of course, here we go with the moss, always the moss. We're going to add that in as well into the top tier. It's helping to also cover up the branches. And I used this variety of moss as well. And as you can see, those big green um, plastic parts of the greenery are now covered up. Next are these fabulous, cannot say it enough, fabulous lemons that were purchased from Kirkland's. And this hook right here is just a plus feature of on these lemons because you can now hang it hang the lemons from different areas um, in your home you don't have to just place it in a bowl or an apothecary jar although they are lovely there but this opens up things and i just placed lemons all throughout by simply just hanging it on with that little um, hook that are at the top of all of the lemons. Again, these were purchased from Kirkland's and I just added them all about throughout the topiary, made sure to put one down on the bottom tray. And do you hear that? Oh my gosh, do you hear that? You're about to find out. 